What's up? I'm Donnie Simpson. Uh, I was asked to tell you about my most memorable Christmas. And uh, it happened, I guess it was mid 80s. I don't know the exact year, but you know, things were going well. You know, I just signed a new contract. I was excited. Uh, wanted to do something very special for my boo. This is my wife, Pam. I call her my boo because she was born on Halloween. So she really is my boo. And uh, you know, she's been by my side, man, through thick and thin. We've been married 47 years now. And, uh, you know, my high school sweetheart and all of that. So, you know, things were starting to happen for me real nice. And so I decided I was going to get her a brand new Mercedes convertible for Christmas. Man, this thing was beautiful. So I was trying to decide how I was going to present it. I actually thought about trying to put it in the foyer of my house. And, uh, but I talked to, uh, the guy at the Mercedes dealership. He said, man, that thing weighs 4,200 pounds. You try to put it in your foyer, it will be in your basement. <laughs> so, no, that ain't gonna happen. So, anyway, but you know, at least I'm thinking big, right? It's like Michael Jackson, right? Think big, man, do something extraordinary. So, uh, anyway, what we decided to do was just to have it delivered. Uh, a very dear friend of mine, who was one of the DJs who worked for me at WKYS at the time, Kevin James. Kevin Slow Jammin' James. Uh, Kevin was gonna deliver the car for me at 10 o'clock sharp, all right? Um, and he was dressed in a Santa outfit, you know? So he had the top down. Uh, now we're trying to figure out a way to get her to the front door. So what we did, he had one of his friends who was a, a Montgomery County cop, um, escort him there, but he hit the sirens when he got in front of our house. It's like, what's going on out there? I said, I don't know. Well, let's go see. So we go out to see, and she sees this candy apple, red convertible Mercedes, tan interior. I mean, it was so beautiful with a big ribbon on the front, Santa Claus driving it. And she says, Ray and Juanita. It's got to be Ray and Juanita. That's Sugar Ray Leonard and his wife, his first wife, Juanita. You know, because we were very tight and always hung out. And she, she figured it was Juanita, had a brand new gift. So the cop comes on the speaker and he says, Santa, that is not your car. Get out of the car. So Pam's like, what is going on here? And so he repeats it, Santa, that is not your car. Get out of the car. So he says, Santa, whose car is it? And Santa points at Pam. She goes, no, nah, it's not my car. I mean, she had no idea what was going on. She said, that's not my car. And so Santa comes up uh, the driveway, the walkway. He grabs her by the hand. He walks her down to the car. And he says, he points to the door. And he says, are these your initials? PDS. She just collapsed. I mean, he had to catch her. She just said... <laughs> It was so special. Now, I gotta tell you this, all the time, I got the camera on, right? I'm taping this, and that didn't even give her a clue that I'm taping this. Well, I guess it could have been Ray and Juanita, I'm still taping. But I'm taping this, I'm behind, it's going, like, and then she collapsed, and Santa gets her back together and shows the car and everything, and I'm so proud of this moment. This is so amazing. And then I realized I got my camera on pause the whole time. I'm so bad at that. I, <laughs> I missed my daughter's first recital. Same thing, man. I'm in there, man. Like Spike Lee. I got all of this. I've got nothing. So I'm just hopeful that this is working this time. Please, is it working? <laughs>